What's up y'all? It's your boyfriend Zoro and today I have something extremely special for you. I don't have anything special. <laughs> What's up y'all? It's Zoro. That's me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're not, then welcome. Uh, today I am going to review my own creation. Uh, this is something that I've been looking for and I haven't really found. So I'm going to show you how to do it in two snaps of a lamb's tail. Bloop! <laughs> two snaps of a lamb's tail? Okay. So as you may know, or you may not know, you probably don't know because I haven't mentioned it, I got the new Insta360 X4. Uh, the reason why I got it is because I wanted a fucking 360 camera. <laughs> why do you care why I got it? Uh, so I've been wanting to fly it on my drone and uh, there hasn't been a good way to mount it. So I've been looking for a way to mount it on my FPV drone, but it's been really hard for me to find anything that works. And in reality, I was out the door and I really wanted to get some drone footage to see what it looks like on the 360. And I broke my selfie stick accidentally. your fucking selfie stick and i kind of crafted my own mount for my fpv drone do you want to see it i know you do you nosy shit all right here it is uh it's a prototype keep that in mind but uh it's pretty special i give you the zorro 400 uh 100 y 400 so this is was the selfie stick and funnily enough it broke just like that and I uh, strapped it down very securely with uh, the battery straps and also I crimped it at the end because you know so it's flat and it doesn't wobble wo wobble around this thing is dirty <laughs> as fuck you guys this is fucking it's gonna be amazing excuse the language but we gotta swear in this channel you know what I mean we're not <sighs> okay back to the thing so we uh, I took the GoPro off because it's a lot of extra weight and uh before the selfie stick was going this way and the drone was very top heavy front heavy so now this way it's going to be chilling see i was like reclining but i don't know about this bounciness though i don't know this is going to be very interesting also you know the 360 lens is very fragile uh you know if you scratch it then the whole thing is done and uh you know sometimes i scratch lenses so hopefully this won't happen today if it does then i'm just gonna have to get a new one i do have insurance on it by the way so it's all good don't worry thanks best buy all right so um i'm gonna try to you know go around and fly it what i'm worried about is that it's gonna be off balance it's gonna be top heavy also the bounciness might create who knows let's find out shall we and let's do it how come people don't palm it out anymore? Remember when that was a thing? Anyways, oh, and by the way, today I am at the abandoned cement factory here in undisclosed location. If you know, you know. All right, is that enough info for you? Is that enough information for you? You fucking know. Good. Let's do this, shall we? It's making a weird noise.
like a glove like a glove well i mean it flew it was very i don't know if you guys heard that but it was fucking very wobbly i don't know why i think it's because of the the bounce it was trying to like auto this Combobulate, you know what I mean? When that happens. All right, uh, I'm gonna try one more pack. Let's see what, you know, what the thing is, shall we? Um, so I was trying to be cool and uh, freestyle. <laughs> And it went a little too hard, and I crashed, and uh, my video is off. My video is out. Good thing I have two cameras today, am I right? That helps a lot. Um, but good thing I didn't do that with the Insta360, man. I'd be bummed. So I did like a power loop over this thing. All right, here it goes. Here it goes. Uh, I just got this drone fixed, man. Huh. All right, was well, not too bad. Are all the arms and stuff? Let's see. Let me unplug this thing. Oh, the fuck. You know, freestyle, they say. It will be fun, they say. Oh, the GoPro's still going, so that's good. We get to see it. When it was coming down around the power loop, which was horribly executed, I saw the wall coming, so I kind of flattened out, so it hits the bottom, not the front. You know, so the motors and the camera doesn't get messed up. Sun level. Yes. Now I have two batteries left. <laughs> I did order some new batteries from Ovonic, I think. Um, and that was great. My mentor, my FPV mentor, taught me to smell the batteries. And uh, you can tell there's something wrong with the battery when you smell it. All right, so we're going to leave that here. I'm not, I will take you with me, don't worry. And we're gonna turn the GoPro off. I don't see any, any major damage, thank goodness. All the motors are spinning. And uh, just the, the little antenna in the back got a little, got a little screwed up there. But, all right, not too bad. So, uh, so uh, pro tip, when you come into the wall, like this, no! You go, and then you hit the bottom. See how the bottom hit first? See how that happened when the bottom hit? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but yeah, it does help when you go like that. Because if you go like this, look, motors are screwed, and the camera, and the back, and the front. All right, well, that was uh, interesting. That's a nice little trip we took today. I want to I wanna go home and edit this video. Hopefully, the 360 footage is okay. Ooh. What am I doing? Hopefully the drone 360 footage is okay. I hope it's not wobbly. <clears throat> hope it's not wobbly. All right. So uh, like they say in the thing, you know, like, thanks for watching today. You really didn't have to, but you did. And you even stayed till the very end of the video. I command you and salute you. And I thank you, good sir. All right, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Can you call me through 60 seconds?